I took some time to see what the good folks at AHS are doing to help out everyone in everyday situations as a paramedic and in an ambulance. Now, I was taken on as a paramedic for a day to learn the ins and outs of training and what certain situations are like. Now, while I didn't get to use all the tools paramedics would normally use, I did get to know the basics, though it did take a lot of explaining for me to figure this one out, and I wasn't very good at it to begin with anyway. So first I learned how to open up airways in case someone is in need of breathing assistance. Now this is paramount, especially if people are in a car crash or whatnot. Now while I can't remember most of the names of the tools, I think I did an okay job of making sure that someone can breathe. Mind you, I did watch Scrubs and House over the past few years and that may have helped. Next it was on to the gruesome gash in Stan's leg. Apparently Stan the mannequin got struck by some large objects. so. When this starts happening, we just got to figure out how to stop the bleeding. Now, surprisingly, I was actually the best at this and did this without much help at all. And on the plus side, I didn't even get any food-colored water all over me, which was probably my biggest win of the day. Now, I'm always skeptical of how a doctor, nurse, or paramedic find your veins so fast with a needle. Now, let me tell you, it's harder than it looks. I'd say when it comes to needles, I'll leave this to the pros, because I'll be honest here, I sucked at placing an IV on Stan. These people have a tough job, yet they make it look so easy, all without hurting you. Well, too much for that matter. And let me tell you, don't trust me with a needle. And next, it was time to take my skills to the test as I was placed in an ambulance with a female mannequin patient who was about to deliver a baby. I was not prepared for this at all, though I'm pretty sure I'll be prepared for this next time, providing that there is even a next time. I kind of hope there is no next time. Now, paramedics don't normally deliver in the ambulance, as they do leave that to obstetricians and midwives. One paramedic I was with said that in 10 years as a paramedic, he's only had to deliver seven babies, so it's kind of more of an annual thing. 